Welcome to my toolbox. <laughs> you get to see a drawer, a messy drawer. Okay, so I'm working on <laughs> I'm working on uh, tool organization. I'll show you my boxes later, but I'm I'm working on organization, and today it's wrenches. I've looked through every single organization thing I could find for wrenches, because uh, you know they come in these little plastic carry trays, you know, and I get it, they're convenient and stuff, just like the little plastic boxes you carry stuff around in, I get it, it's complaining. But this is my home set, so I don't, I need these more for organization in the drawer, not so much to carry them off. So they're okay, um, these aren't actually too bad, but I have loose wrenches as you can see. My USA Made Craftsman wrench just came with their own and it's the type with a hand lot so you can carry it and it's got a couple holes so you can mount it to a wall I guess I don't know why you'd want to do that but to each his own um, but anyways it takes up a lot of space especially the handle part and the hanging section and I want as much space in my toolbox as I can get as you see usually I have these handles flipped up so I can make more room to fit more stuff in so when I was researching uh, organization I came across these uh, tool widget. It looked really cool because it's a simple con concept, simple design, and those are usually the big multi-million dollar companies. They come out with the simplest, easiest stuff and they work great. These are a little high right now with the economy and stuff. They're 20 something bucks plus whatever tax and if you got to pay shipping or whatever. Amazon was out of them. I had to order directly from tool widget site. So I don't know if there's a price difference or not, but they're plastic and they're magnetic. They hold 15 wrenches, it says, and they're modular, as you can see from the box. I'm going to take them out and show you. But they're, they brag they're supposed to save you like 20 or 30 percent or I don't remember the exact number, um, space in your box. So I'm like, cool, I like space. And these look a lot smaller than those racks. So let's check them out. There you go. The funny thing, <laughs> I gotta point out, I ordered two of these. I got another set up here. Because um, I have a couple sets of loose wrenches that I'm replacing. These are the crappy ones that I got stuck with when someone walked off with my Craftsman metric. But anyway, so I have a couple sets, and I don't know how many, how many sets I'm gonna end up when I'm done, so I just got two of these for right now. But when these came and I opened the box, stickers fell out. And the first sticker that fell out cracked me up. If you lost, watch my last video on the Craftsman tool set. <laughs> I am not a sticker girl, but you can be damn sure this sticker is going front and center on my box. That just cracks me up, the timing of that. Um, way cool on Tool Widget's part. Got to give you props for that. Um, and then they give, you know, another sticker uh, for the guys. Sorry. Or not for the guys, for anybody, but. So there you go. So you get a couple of stickers. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was kind of neat. Alright, so as you can see, these things come apart. They got a couple of pointy ends and a couple male, female. And you slide them in and there they go. And then on the bottom, you got magnets to hold them down to your box. And... They look, they kind of look like they're almost printed off a 3D printer here. I don't know if you can see the way. It has that 3D printer look, but who cares? What, what does it matter if it was or not? I mean, <laughs> it's going to work. There's the cool feature too. Is See the orange there? Whenever you lift up a wrench, you're going to know your wrench is gone. So this is awesome. Just help me to watch my tools. And then it's got these little slots where you can put labels. But you can make these as long or as short as you want. That was part of the thing that I liked about them, the modular aspect of that. So we're gonna we're gonna test these out and see how many wrenches I got. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I just count out ten sections and put them together. I'll stick this down here. Wow, that's a strong magnet. Let go. All right. 
Stick that down there in the box. All right, and then we'll put some wrenches in here. Well, at least the Tradesman Pro, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, they was crappy or what. They look crappy to me, but... <laughs> The funny thing is, too, um, another reason I chose these, my Craftsman and some of these other ones, the profile of the tools have changed. Back in the day, Craftsman, they might still have them. They have this raised collar around the stamping here for the size and stuff. And it's so thick, they don't fit in traditional uh, wrench holders. Um, I bought a couple by, I think they're called Ares, A-R-E-S. And they wouldn't fit. I had to send them back because be, where they sit, it sits on that thick collar. These would fit in there, but I'm not keeping this junk, so <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I'm looking for some good quality wrenches, too. If you guys got some tips or some ideas and some good quality wrenches, let me know. I know most stuff is made in Taiwan and China now. I'm more okay with Taiwan than China. I'd rather not have any Chinese stuff. Um, I just... To me, the quality just isn't good. I don't, I don't care for it. Um, to each his own. But the craftsmen's I just bought are from Taiwan, and they're not too bad so far. We'll see how they hold up. But there you go. That's the widget in all her glory. And I'm trying to get you in closer so I can show you when you take a wrench out. You can see that orange right away. <laughs> that is bright. That is awesome. Now, on the top where these holes are, you can insert label identifiers for your wrench sizes. So, I ordered them. And they're not cheap either, man. <laughs> so, I think, uh, I can't remember how much they were. I'll put all the information in the description of the video. But... You get a bag of SAE and you get a bag of metric. So we'll take those out and show you. And then I'll show you something I don't like about them. Ah, now that I just dumped everything. Rut roll. Rut roll! Okay. <laughs> take the stickers out of there. Okay, so I threw them in here. There's a lot. That's a lot of metric wrenches. I don't have nearly that many wrenches. Wow, so far I see 27, 28 millimeter, all the way down to 4.5. Wow, I'll be interested to look through those. But uh, here's a. Uh, I get the the idea, the concept behind this, and it's a really good idea. I think it was kind of a Poor execution, though, because one, the 19 millimeter banding there is very, very small. If you're old, forget the reading glasses. You better put on magnifiers because you ain't gonna see this. And it's the exact same color as the background. So I'm gonna have to go over these with marker or paint stick or, or something to put some black on there. May try to make it pop out because I ain't never gonna see that. Watch, I'm gonna put it down here. Oh, I have this backwards. Wow, well, I didn't know there was a backwards, but now you can tell. Let me show you. Uh, back off here a little bit. There is a backwards. The thin end of however you rig these up has no place to put a label. So make sure you're putting your thin end toward the front and put your thick end toward the back because that's where your label is going to go. So, I screwed up. I gotta turn them around now. It was going so well, too, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, shit. Now I just really screwed it up here. You know, so much for making a video short on my channel, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, put it like that. Take our little mini little label here and pop that in there okay like that so I don't know about you I'll even zoom you in can you make that out because <laughs> I sure as that can't 
Wow, that's uh, that's really tiny. Okay, so so far that would be my only criticism on the label idea. I mean, I think the label idea is a great idea. Don't get me wrong. I just think it should have been a little more thought out as far as the size and as far as the two colors there. I mean, you got to have a contrasting color. That's to me that just seems elementary, my dear. But uh, I'm not a tool designer. What do I know? But they did hit it out of the park with the magnets. They hit it out of the park with the orange day glow. Warning, warning, Will Robinson, your tool is missing. <laughs> really like that. That is a really cool feature. So, you know, I'm going to get a black marker or something and color them in and see if it improves the readability any better. But so far, as far as the space saving thing, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. So, of course, I'm going to move this around. This is just for demonstration video purposes, but I'm going to stick it up there for the the bigger wrenches to be kind of out of the way, or I don't know, maybe I'll spin it around or something. I'll play around with it, but that is, a, wow, those are, that's my... Harbor Freight, man, that thing's got some good magnets. I'm not usually a Harbor Freight fan. I used to shop there years ago, and everything I bought from there, I broke. <laughs> I mean, I don't buy tool tools from there because, you know, some things you can cheap out on, screwdrivers, you know, certain things. These toolboxes are actually pretty decent for the money. Um, so, you know, you know along the years what you can cheap out on and what you can't. Uh, power tools, no way. <laughs> Hand tools, sockets, ratchets, no way. I mean, you cheap out on them, you're going to break them, then you're going to be without a tool. But that's another lecture. So, yeah, well, t t we got some really high numbers here 34. I don't have wrenches that big. <laughs> that's funny. But I know they make the 4 millimeter and the 4.5 and the 5 and the 5.5. I didn't know they had wrenches that small. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I think, what's my smallest wrench? My smallest wrench is a quarter. Uh, I know, I'm working on my tools. <laughs> I'm working on getting reorganized, reset up. So, uh, again, not a sticker girl, but I thought it was kind of cool that they threw those in. And that thing is just too funny i am just so as soon as i get done here i'm putting this on my box <laughs> so props to them for that but i really wish they would uh address the uh contrast on the labels and on my first video here uh the plastic surrounding the magnet and the magnet fell out of a couple of these they weren't glued in all the way so maybe a little more on the quality control like i said they do look like they're 3d printed which is cool, man. I mean, inventive idea. If that's how they're doing it or whatever. If that's just the production line, I don't know. But that's what it looked like at first glance was 3D printing. Boy, if you could get a hold of that uh, information. <laughs> Very cool, though. Very cool orange. I'm missing. I'm missing. All right, so that's it. I tried to make it quick. Sorry it wasn't so quick. But uh, I wanted to get some videos out here for you guys. They're going to get better as time goes by, once the garage is set up, once the studio part is set up for the videos, uh, the scripts will get better. Uh, I'm going to learn some, some camera stuff too uh, to give you some better quality videos as well. But uh, thanks for sticking around, all of you guys that have. I really appreciate it. I got a ton of reviews coming up because a ton of stuff. Right now, sorry, it's kind of focused on indoor stuff, remodeling my garage, um, tools and the stuff I'm buying for that. Uh, Cause it's cold out. <laughs> uh, hiking and kayaking and all that stuff. I don't do that in the the cold months. Um, so right now I'm nursing a meniscus tear, so it's kind of limiting what I can do right now as well. But stick around, I promise. There'll be some really cool videos coming up. There'll be some bags in the future. Again, I'll be doing redoing all my bags and. Um, I do have some products that I want to uh, review for you to upgrade my. Roadside emergency kit, some new stuff I just got in. 
So stick around. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Take care to the next video.